Mowing that lawn is fun, but what if you want to mow and it's midnight, or you mowed yesterday, or it's winter? But Peggy, I want to mow right now! Virtual reality changes all that with the new Lawn Mowing Simulator. <laughs> I know, it sounds like a joke, but this was actually done pretty well. Let's talk about why. I mowed lawns professionally for 12 years, so I know a thing or two about what makes this experience worth it. So I'm giving you three reasons why Lawn Mowing Simulator is worth your time. And after that, I'll give you eight reasons why you could wait until their first update. Yup. This game has many problems, but first, let's talk about three things it got right. Number one. Is this really a simulation? I would say yes, they really nailed it, but it's not just a simulation on mowing lawns, it's a very well done simulation on professional lawn mowing. Your mower's batteries and gas run out, you have to mow the right height, you have to turn on the blades, lower the trailer gate, load the equipment, and not to mention sharpen the blades and repair the mower. This not only took me back to my mowing days, but made me realize whoever made this game has had experience in this industry. Mm-hmm. This became clear to me when they made me pick up trash before I mowed. Homeowners don't usually have to do this, but when a pro is mowing your lawn, people just throw whatever they feel like on their lawns. So this is definitely a realistic experience. Another reason they nailed this is that mowing should be peaceful. We mow to get away from it all, and to show a little pride in our property. Once I got the gist of how this game worked, I did find it peaceful. So peaceful, in fact, I started falling asleep. There's certainly an ASMR aspect to this. The third reason this seems so realistic, you can mess up. In real life, when you're mowing 100 yards a week, you tend to forget all the little nuances of each yard. Sometimes you might hit a sprinkler head, weed eat a flower, or even break a garden gnome. And yes, you can damage property in this game. The string trimmer, as they call it, seems to be impervious to property damage, but the mower sure can do a number on the yard. Not to mention, you can do both damage to the mower and repair it. Before each new contract, you must repair, recharge, resharpen, and reload your equipment. Speaking of which, the lift is really cool, but we never had anything like that. We just picked the mower up and put a stick under it. Well, I'm talking about it, but talking about it, dang old, yep. The game also has more mowers and equipment you can buy if you break something, or you just want to upgrade. Hopefully, you've earned enough money to upgrade. If this sounds good so far, hit the thanks button to support the channel, and don't forget to check my links in the description for virtual reality headsets and a discount on this game. So the game really has done a good job on making a lawn mowing simulator, but it's not perfect. And the good thing is, all this can be fixed. Here's eight things this game can improve on. Man, so you talk about dang old bad gasoline, weed whacker, ticket, to tell them talk about mower ain't even real, man. Number one, you have to get off the mower for what they call the pro view. It's where you can see what parts of the lawn have yet to be cut to the right length. It's really annoying. I'm sure that's for realism, but it just doesn't work having to get off the mower every time to do it in a game. I want to be able to push that button anytime to check my progress, but I can't. I have to get off and check and get on. That brings me to number two. The progress meter really kills the mood. Can I turn this off? It didn't seem like I could. It definitely ruined the shots for the video, but I wanted a simulation feeling. That huge bar should be a meter I can check on my wrist. The wrist seems to only have your status on what you need to do next. If I could just get the meter out of my face, I would be a much happier camper. Or, uh, mower. Toss me another one. Number three, the tutorial is pretty good until you start mowing the grass. It took me forever in two game restarts to realize I couldn't continue until I pressed down the right stick for the pro view. So what happened is I checked that before it asked me to, so I never noticed when it was the official time to do it. Plus, the arrows were confusing me. You have instructions that pop up all over the place, including on your hand what to do next, then there's arrows. It gets confusing knowing which ones to do when. Number four, playing on the couch is nearly impossible. The buttons on the mower are too low. I really imagine this is a game where I can sit up in bed or at the very least in a recliner and mow to my heart's content, but there doesn't seem to be a way to reach down and push the blades on button when you're on the couch. Not to mention the actual engage blades button doesn't work. You use an electronic button, which I found kind of strange. But the biggest issue is with playing in a comfortable position is simply that you can't reach through the couch to get to certain things, which brings me to number five really have to lower yourself to pick up items. It'd be nice if you could just 
lower your hand and not have to actually bend in real life. In some cases, you get super reach, like when you open the battery cases on the mower, but if an item is too low, you have to bend down a good ways, which is not as much simulatory as it is backbreaking work for virtually no reward, or only a virtual reward. Number six, there's no way to know if you're trimming low enough with the string trimmer. I kept going all over the entire property thinking I was edging properly but you pretty much just have to ram it into the ground to get it to cut right. In real life, this does damage, so I was trying hard not to push it that far down. Number seven, please give us a run option. The free movement is way too slow. So slow that it actually makes me feel a little sick. I don't play any games that are this slow. I just wanna be able to get places naturally without having to teleport, which for me, kills immersion. Number eight, speaking of movement, my final complaint is that I hope to see an update with quicker smooth turning. 70 is the highest option on smooth turning, and to me, that should be the lowest option. I need to be able to turn as fast as I can in real life. By the way, I'm not 80 years old. If I was, I might feel right at home. No offense to 80 year olds. I'm empty.